right now, the city of San Antonio reevaluating their expectations for pet owners, sending out a new survey to see what you think should be required. The news for I teams Jordan Elder lays out what's included and what it could mean for city policy down the road. Jordan. Right now, the pet care standards in San Antonio are pretty simple. Your animal needs food, water and shelter over their heads. But should we be expecting more from our neighbors? That's the question this survey wants to answer. It is going to create that that community uh, mentality of this is what San Antonians want from pet owners within their community. Animal Care Services Director Shannon Sims knew there would be a lot of interest when they released this pet care standard survey at the end of April. But what he wasn't expecting. So I was a little surprised in how quickly the team was able to get these responses. When we took a look at the survey today, you can see there's been almost 2,500 participants and more than 7,700 comments. You know, some of it's going to be criticism, and of course, some of it is people trying to make their community better. The questions center around how you treat your pet and expectations you'd like to see in the city. You're, you're Leah Laporte is the founder of No Kill San Antonio. She says when she took the survey. And I just, I just didn't feel like it was going to get somewhere. I felt like they should already know these answers and um, and if they don't, they haven't been paying attention. Here's what state law and city code currently require of pet owners. The survey asks about things like microchipping, affordable vet care, pet training and more. There are solutions that might seem like common sense. But common sense isn't always a common practice. Laporte said she'd like to see more questions either here or in other surveys about what ACS can do rather than what the community can do. The questions that they were asking, I felt it was based off of negative responses to kind of get negative answers. Sims says the strategic plan covers a lot of ground, and this is just one piece of it. ACS hopes to get between 10 and 15,000 survey responses by early summer before they start shaping these policies. For the News 4i team, I'm Jordan Elder.